Hi, welcome back. It's Amanda. And today I'm going to do another, just a split cup pour. I'm not doing a ladle pour. I'll move that. I ordered some of these um, pouring paints from Arteza and they are the iridescent ones and I have a four channel split cup. I'm just gonna do a split cup pour and just kind of as my first test with these paints to see how I like them and see how they turn out. I, um, this one is the Nautical Tones set, Iridescent Nautical Tones. And we have Lustrous Black, Glittering Ocean Blue, Rare Jade Green, and Playful Pink. So I just thought I would go with something that is kind of easy for me to try so that I can test out the consistency of the paints and test how the paints work for me. I'm gonna move this for right now and I'm just gonna fill my cup and pour and see how they work out. I know I've been using the Master's Touch pre-mixed paints from Hobby Lobby for a good while now and I really like those, but I wanted some different colors. So I started looking at some other pre-mixed paints and Arteza was having, they always have sales, but they were having a sale um, like Cyber Week sale. So I just thought I would get some and try them. I have a few other sets that I got um, that I'll try again. I wanna try some of them while with my paints from Hobby Lobby just to see how they compare or how they work together. But I thought for the first time I would just start and just use these. And I know they're all iridescent colors, so it should turn out nice and shimmery or sparkly at least. Um, and I was gonna, I thought about mixing and matching colors from different sets, but I just, I decided just for like one quick my first quick test, I would just start with them and put them in the order how they come out of the box and everything. This looks kind of white, but I did, whenever you peel off the little lid things inside, I pressed them against a napkin and it does have like a pink tint. I think whenever it dries, it'll be more pinkish. I don't think I need to, this cup is six ounces, so I don't think I need to fill it up all the way. I want to see if they're kind of evenly filled though. I think maybe there's a little less of the lustrous black than the other colors, but that's okay. These cost a little bit more than the ones from Hobby Lobby, but um, those ones are really cheap because they always have the 50% off sales. So the price wasn't so bad. Um, with the sale that Arteza was having, I think it ended up they were it was like 10.99 for these four bottles and it, they're four ounces so i don't know the math on that but it doesn't matter i just hope they turn out really well i hope that this turns out nice i'm gonna try to do a nice pour i forgot i should have gotten one of my plain give me a minute i'm gonna go get just a plain white so that um, once I pour this on, I can put the white around to spin over, or maybe black. I think I'll go get like my normal black from Hobby Lobby and then I can pour it around and I'll be right back. Okay, I went and got some of my Master's Touch black um, so that I can pour it around for my Flow Extender paint. Um, I'm just gonna start pouring and see what happens.
I didn't realize I was gonna do a straight pour. I normally do a ring pour, but it is what it is. The one that looks white is that playful pink. And I think once it dries, it'll have a pink shimmer to it. Okay. One second. Okay, so, so far, I like this. Let me add that black around, see which way it's unlevel to, so that we don't, so that I can counterbalance it. That's a lot of that black, but I want to make sure that it's kind of even with the height of this color as we start to spread. So it, it helps me save the pattern from my pour whenever I have this paint next to it for it to roll over so that it's not rolling over the pattern itself as the paint spreads. I'm a little bit shaky today. I haven't eaten yet today. And then if for some reason, whenever I spin and the paint doesn't all spread over like a corner or something, I can just make the corner, I can just put black over the corner. Okay, um, I wanna heat it just to, I'm gonna fix it. I like it like that right now. I'm gonna heat it just to pop any bubbles. And then I think I'm gonna spin first and then see if I need to tilt anywhere. Okay, um, the paint is a little bit heavier that way, but, so I will tilt, I guess, over this way. I lied. I will tilt this way to kind of spread the paint out a little bit. Whenever I first started using the Master's Touch pouring paints, I really didn't like how thin and fluid they were, but since I've used them so much lately, I've gotten really used to that. I really like how thin and fluid they are, how easily they move, and I have seen some YouTube videos of other artists trying the Arteza ones, and their comments were that it was really thin and fluid too, so I was hoping that it would be a really similar consistency to what I was used to, and it seems to be so far. So I'm gonna do just a light spin and see what it looks like and go from there. I really like it, this orientation, and I think if I spin again, I'm gonna lose all of that playful pink. Um, 
the black is a little bit heavy around this side, but I think that's okay. Um, I had enough paint to cover all my sides really well, but I don't think I have too much paint to just let it dry. So I may just leave it like that. I really like it like that. I kind of, I would like to have maybe half of that black, but I'm afraid to start tilting and mess up the pattern. Um, and if I tilt a lot more or spin a lot more, I'm going to lose that pink around the edges. I really like that. I think I'm just going to heat it and leave it like this to dry and see how it looks when it's dry. I really don't want cells, but the iridescent paint might cause a little bit. There's a little bit from like the bubbles. I think that whenever I do another one and do part Master's Touch paints and part Arteza paints. I was trying to level that up a little bit. Whenever I use like both, like part iridescent paint and part non-iridescent paint, I think maybe the iridescent paint might have a little bit of effects. I think um, I could have used a little bit less paint so that I could have um, kept more of the outside, more of the pink around the outside. But overall, I wish I had half of that black, but I don't want to lose that pink. So overall, I think I like it. Um, I can already see some shimmer here. I think as it dries, it might change a little bit with the shimmer. And um, I need to start doing my dry result videos again. I haven't done those for so long because I just, Whenever it's daylight outside, I just never think to get outside and record the dry result videos, but this is one. I definitely think I want to share the dry result with you because I think once it dries and you can see all of that shimmer, it will be really nice. It does look a little bit plain at first, but the longer I look at it, the more subtle definitions I can see between the colors. There's like a great big section of blue there, but there is some pink maybe next to it that I hadn't noticed at first. There's that big blob of black, but I think overall it'll, it's okay. I think when it dries, I'll notice more subtleties between the different colors of paint. So um, I'm just gonna leave it. I'll take you down for a close up. And thanks as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos and have a blessed day. Bye. I'll do the close up for now and like I said I think I want to do a dry result video for this one especially. Um, this black spot here kind of reminds me of a bird but um, whenever I go in close you'll see the shimmer in the colors. I think I could have spun it some more to spread out the lines and make some more definitions between the lines but I didn't want to lose all this pink at the bottom and if I'd spun another time I would have lost all the pink. So I'll just go in and show you the details. Um, I hope you can see the shimmer. Those little dots are like the sparkles in the shimmer. And whenever you get up close, you can see more um, little subtle lines and more definition between the colors. And it's not just one big blob of color. So I'm hoping that that stands out more when it's dry or when it's varnished. But so far, I, my first experience with these paints, I really like them and I can't wait to try them again. I want to try them, like I said, in a pour with half um, Arteza paints and half of the Master's Touch ones that I have so that I have part of them iridescent, part of them not. So I'm going to do that for my next one, I think. and. I'll be excited to see how they play together whenever I have more than just four colors too. Or like, if I use one of these boxes and then four of my Master's Touch paints and end up having eight paints but have different um, versions of like purple, pink, blue, or whatever. I'm going to love this whenever it dries because it's going to be so shimmery. 
I love this green and pink together down here. I might do one sometime with just like greens and pinks and then use these in there. Um, I guess that's it for this one. Let me know what you think and have a blessed day. Bye.